Good evening and welcome to the shack of EI2KC. You're probably wondering what the strange noise is coming from the radio. It's not uh, in intelligent alien life on a different planet trying to contact us, unfortunately, although that would be very exciting. This is in fact a digital mode on amateur radio, which is known as JT65. It's named after its founder or its creator, uh, Joe Taylor. And I'm using software here created by Joe Taylor. And my radio has just come in to transmit. I'm running 14 watts here on the 80 meter band. Uh, what I'm trying to do is to establish contact with other radio amateurs using low power. And that's the key to the JT65 mode. It's a low power mode. It's designed to um, enable amateurs to contact each other over reasonable distance using low power and in some cases limited antennas and indeed this is one of the reasons it's attractive uh, to a lot of amateurs who have limited antenna systems maybe attic dipoles or just dipoles in the garden or whatever and uh, the first time I used uh, JT65 on the first night I used it so I've just transmitted a CQ there the first night I used it I achieved a QSO into uh, Tasmania Victor Kilo 7 using 7 watts on the 20 meter band. Now I know obviously sometimes propagation helps things um, but I like this mode. I don't use it a huge amount. I uh, much prefer PSK in terms of digital mode but sometimes I mean, the bands tonight aren't in great shape. Um, it's quiet. Uh, 20 meters is dead. There wasn't much, uh, there wasn't anything on 30 metres. 40 metres, very little on SSB, a couple of stations on CW, 80 metres, the same. So I decided to park myself on 3.576, which is the uh, JT65 frequency on the 80 metre band, and just see what came up. So, so far, I've established contact with uh, a QSO with Austria and with Germany. Now, just going to watch here in case somebody's calling me. Because I did put out a CQ, yes. So I have Mike 5 Alta Alpha Delta Lima calling me. MD, M5 ADL. And he is in India, Oscar 80. So he's in England, he's not far away, in fairness. Okay, it's 80 metres. You can expect on 80 metres to hear everything from Ireland to the UK into Europe. And sometimes you get DX. The great thing about JT65, as you've probably been noticing, is that you're able to have a QSO while you're doing something else. It's nice and relaxed. If you do a QSO properly, it takes six minutes. So the transmit phase lasts 48 seconds, and then there's a decode phase of 12 seconds. Everybody transmits on the minute, um, well, exactly on the minute. You have to sync your computer time with, um, you know, um, with, well, I think it's with an atomic clock, but... We're all synchronized at the same time, basically. So there's my transmission finished, 48 seconds. Uh, I've called him back and I've given him a report of minus 10. And I'm gonna wait, hopefully now, he will give me his report. And once he's done that, I can choose to send him or, 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 well, his call sign, M5 ADL EI2KC or 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 which means Roger 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 which means QSL we have a QSO or I can go straight to which I prefer to do is to go straight to M5 ADL EI2KC 73 which means goodbye but effectively means yes you're in the log uh, the QSO is complete but to do it properly there's a CQ phase somebody answers you answer them with a report they come back to you with a Roger you go back to them with a roger, and then there's a 73. So uh, a full QSO on JT65 should take six minutes. But I've noticed now, let's see if he comes back to me here. Yep, he has done. So I could go or, 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 but I'm going to go 73. Because instead of, I, it just, it shortens the QSO. Um, I'm not entirely sure if, you know, if there's a rigid um, thing about, uh, doing the or 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 and then the 73 but i've noticed a lot of operators give me straight the 73 once the two signal reports are exchanged which is effectively all you need for a qso so i'm going to log him i have to enter the transmit power which is 14 watts 
So I'm saying 7-3 to Mike 5, Alpha Delta Lima. And then if somebody doesn't pick up on me and give me a shout uh, on the next one, I will then put out another CQ. Again, low power. Um, I'm watching uh, on the second monitor here, I'm watching on PSK Reporter, and my signal has been heard as far away as, let's have a look, in the United States I've been heard in Wisconsin, and I've also been heard in Kentucky, <laughs> it's not bad is it? So maybe it's something that you might consider doing. Um, the software is free to download and it's very easy to set up. Uh, you just go into the settings and select your rig, uh, select your interface and your, your uh, sound input and output. And the rest is it's decoding here all the time anyway. And as I said, one of the great benefits of JT65 is that you can make a QSO and you can also be doing something else, perhaps watching your favourite episode of Lie to Me or something like Narcos on uh, Netflix or maybe you want to watch a ham radio video on YouTube or maybe you're, you know, Facebooking or something. Uh, the beauty of the, the length of the QSO and the slow pace of it is that you can do something else. So I'll go back to CQ here now. So I'll be CQing in for 3, 2, 1, 0. No, because, I'll tell you why, because my enable TX has been disabled. So, you have to keep an eye on that. So, I'll enable that, and I'll also enable, oh, no, careful, TX even, and then enable TX. So, it's, it's 11 minutes past 10. At 12 minutes past 10, I'll transmit on the even at, uh, at 12. So, a uh, couple of little things. Can't completely take your mind off what's going on. I uh, can't be distracted by making YouTube videos, certainly. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this uh, very brief introduction to JT65. Uh, it's, 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 it's quite a, a bit of fun. It's very relaxed. It's very slow-paced. But it's quite rewarding. 7-3 from the I2KC.